Hey everybody, what's up? So, me and my wife are here praying. It's pretty much what we do every night. And, particularly during this last, what, like 50 days? How long has it been since the first week in March, basically? We've been on this journey, this crazy God pulling us, drawing us closer to Him type of journey. And so, during our worship and prayer time, you know, we're always, we, we pray and we, we worship the Lord and all that all that but a lot of times we're just listening to hear what you know what we're sensing what we're feeling from the Lord and as my wife is praying I'm looking at my computer screen and it's got all these cool like houses and cars and stuff on it that you know dreams of mine that I have and I get it gets to this one picture of this house and I got this vision from the Lord of this family that was in that house and there was a family outside of the house. Well, and it was weird. It was a weird thing. It was almost like a, a, a they were both, both families were attached to this table. And they were like kind of stuck to the table. It was weird. And then that table flipped. Oh, gosh. Did, did that really just happen? God's going to turn the tables. <laughs> that really just happened. You know, God can be cliche sometimes because it's effective when he does it. <laughs> But seriously, that's what it was like. It was like this table just like turned and then that family that was on the outside was suddenly inside the house and then the family that was on the outside of the house was suddenly on the, or the, you know what I'm saying? It flipped. The family that was on the outside was on the inside. The family that was on, on the uh, inside was on the outside, etc., etc. And I felt like that that family that was on the inside of the house to begin with they were worldly people that didn't know the Lord, that didn't, it's not like they disrespected God on purpose or anything like that. It's just they weren't walking with the Lord. That's the bottom line. Um, but the people on the outside, they really, really knew the Lord. And they loved the Lord so much, but they were in need. They were in financial need, basically. And I felt like the Lord was saying that that's a lot of people right now. That's a lot of people right now. And that he was going to begin, he was going to reverse the situation for people like me and my wife, for people who are believing God and hearing from God and sensing this birthing thing that God's doing, this transition that God has us in because he's transitioning us from the outside to the inside. And during this time that me and uh, my wife have been on this, uh, you know, several week journey with God, you know, one of the things that um, he kept highlighting to me was Psalm 126.4 about how he was going to reverse the captivity, um, m meaning that uh, he was going to reverse things. He was going to, you know, well, where... Where you've been in poverty, there was going to be wealth. Where you've been in dry, there was going to be wet. Where you've been in, you, you know what I'm saying? You get the point. And, um, and so as I'm, I'm just looking at a screensaver, you guys. And God just like, he shows me this thing. And I'm just like, whoa. And then he reminds me of that whole reversing thing. And, but there was more to it. Because it was like, those who were on the inside of the house that got flipped to the outside were like totally confused. They were totally weirded out. They were like, what in the world? But they recognized that something miraculous or supernatural had happened and they weren't a part of it. You know what I'm saying? They recognized that. And so it was like they had this they had this kind of like, ooh, we, we want to serve those people that are inside of our house because we want because they weren't trying to be like, hey, wait, wait a minute, what are we doing on the outside? We're gonna fight. It wasn't like that. They were actually almost scared. You know, they were terrified. They were like not terrified, but I don't know how to to describe it. But they were just like, whoa. And so and so they wanted to start serving. And then it reminded me of other scriptures that, that it, God had given me and had given my wife. And let's see, let's, uh, let's go into some of them. For example, well, I'll start with Psalm 18 because this is something that I felt like the Lord gave me before we uh, 
while we were in Brentwood because we were thinking, okay, this is what's going to happen right now. <laughs> it's not gonna, it didn't happen right then, but I felt like he gave this to me. And it's uh, from Psalm 18, starting in verse 43. It says, You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. Because all the things that people strive after is what? Houses, cars, financial security so they can have a better life. You know what I'm saying? And God's like, You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You made me the head of the nations. And that's what, it, that's what this vision that I saw just now felt like. A people I had not known served me. That was a big one for me when we were in Brentwood. It was huge. It was just like, God was like, this is going to happen. And I'm like, whoa, okay, that sounds awesome. As soon as they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreigners submitted themselves cringingly and yielded feigned obedience to me. Foreigners, meaning those outside of relationship with God. That's basically what this is saying, how it will apply to what God's doing right now, you know? Foreigners lost heart and came trembling out of their caves or strongholds. See, that's exactly what I saw in that vision. They were trembling. They were like, whoa, we're just going to do whatever you say because God is obviously with you and he's obviously not with us. So see, it, and it becomes an opportunity for... Uh, them to get right with God. And then we go to um, Isaiah 61. This is something that my wife really felt like the Lord put uh, pressed on her, right? Does that really, really feel that? Okay. And it says in a uh, song, oh gosh, Isaiah 61, verse 5. Aliens shall stand ready and feed your flocks, and foreigners sh shall be your plowmen, and your vine dressers. And it totally goes right in line with that kind of thing I was sensing from the Lord about what's kind of going on, not just with me and my wife, obviously, but in the earth and what God is. See, because God's sharing what, what he's doing with those who want to hear it, with those who want to listen to it, and those who want to follow after it and press into it and receive from it. Because I think only those who are following after it are going to receive from it. Because what I saw in that vision, there was a whole family outside of this house and I got this sense that it was almost like this family was homeless but they, it's but it's not because it, be, it was because they were following the Lord they were following the Lord and doing whatever it is that they were doing and I could see this the the wife she was almost kind of like tearful because she was like she was like in the state of desperation almost like the whole family was to it to, to a certain degree because they believed that God was going to do this thing and they're believing and they stepped out. It was an all-in type of thing. Like, there's no going back from this once we make this decision to follow God like this. Kind of like Abraham did, you know. And it was like right at the right moment, standing right on the edge of the promise, God flipped things and boom, it just happened just like that. Because I've been feeling like that too. Like, God's been saying the end suddenly thing like and suddenly this happened you know in a moment you're born in a moment the nation is born suddenly the birth happens you know and so also to go along with these other scriptures i just read and saw so, um isaiah 60 verse 3 it says and nations shall come to your light that again in this particular passage nations mean those who don't know the lord are going to come to you, and nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. So what I feel like God is saying is like, for those of us who are hearing the Lord, and are following after him, and are believing, and are going on this kind of Abraham, Sarah kind of crazy faith walk with the Lord, he's saying like, that's what's getting ready to happen. That's what I'm doing. That's what you're getting ready to receive. And wherever I place you, that's going to be, that's going to be where you need to be. Um, you know, and don't look to this person or that person and compare yourself to this ministry or what God's doing with that person. You just need to hear from God yourself because God's like, my wife just keeps saying, she keeps saying the same thing over and over again, that God's moving the chess pieces. It's like, he's like this master chess chess uh, player and he's moving the pieces in different directions and if you play any kind of chess you know that you just don't move all the pieces at the same time and you don't like 
you know, there's a strategy to winning the game, you know. And it's important for us to know that wherever God places us, that's exactly where we need to be. That's exactly where the promise is going to happen for us. And it is going to be for us. That blessing is going to be for us, but it's going to bless God. And it's also going to bless those around us to the degree where they're going to be coming to us. And it's like I just felt like instead of, you know, because for a long time, I feel like the church has been serving the world. Or been and been taking their cues from the world on how to be. It's an unfortunate thing, but I feel like God's saying I'm getting ready to reverse that. Where once again, the world is going to be taking its cues from the church when it comes to art, when it comes to politics, um, when it comes to ev and everything else in between. How to raise your kids, how to run a business. You know, because God's going to take some of you and put you in a business, and that's where you need to be. God's going to take some of you and put you on the mission field of, you know, some foreign country, you know, and that's where you're going to need to be. God's going to take some of you and put you here and do you this, and that's where you're going to need to be, you know. But it's like, yeah, so anyway, I just thought that, I just wanted, I felt like I just wanted to share that with you guys, because I just feel like what God's doing in the in the earth is that he's it's in the earth he's shifting things he's changing things and i hope that's just an encouraging word for whoever might hear this and that you would uh be blessed by it and know that uh just keep seeking the lord you know keep coming after him keep listening to him you know and uh he will prove himself he will guide he will direct your heart he will strengthen your heart he will prepare your heart to to be who you're supposed to be and go where you're supposed to go. So, until next time, guys. See you later.